Yo, what's up, y'all, man? No video today. We're just going to do a little bit of something different. Show y'all a little mix. That's right. I'm going to just going to play, you know, talk a little bit and play this in the background. I don't want to uh, play it all the way through because I don't want to get a copyright strike, but I'll just mix it up a little bit. Because I want y'all to know that I do, I do every fucking thing, okay? I do photography, I do mixing, I do stocks, I do trucking, I do all that shit. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the market and where I feel it's going, you know? So, um, I think we're going down, man. I just think the economy is, they opening up. And they think that opening up this economy with half-ass restaurants, half-ass planes, half-ass Disney parks is going to make a big difference. You know, bring us back to where we was before the stock market reached all-time highs. When the stock market was at all-time highs in February, we was booming. We had great unemployment rate. Uh, everybody was working. People was making good money. <laughs> I got a glimpse of that. I forgot. Anyway, and uh, so how could we be at the same place, even higher, and companies are basically going to be making half the money? How is that possible? So, um... I think we're going down. Once they realize that, you know, a plane full with half the people is not the same as a plane full with full people. I think I'm going to get busted. <laughs> but once they realize a half restaurant is not going to be a full restaurant, a half plane is not going to be half plane. Half. Uh, that most of the small mom and pops are just going to be straight up out of business. That there's only going to be basically four stores in the whole world, and that's Amazon, Costco, Target, and Walmart, because no one else can compete with them. That's why I think the stock market's gonna go down and has to go down. Disney, a great buy. I want it for my portfolio. I think it's trading at $108. Um, $108 on Disney. $108 on Disney. Um, but check it out. Um, these guys, they in the movies, there's no movies, they in the theaters, there's, there's, I should say sports, there's no sports, they into TV, there's basically no TV, they got streaming, but you know, streaming is expensive, it's, that streaming is not the whole, gonna replace the whole Disney, they got amusement parks, there's no amusement parks, everything they do is, uh, I'm trying to cut. everything Disney does is closed. So how could they, I mean, they're not really too far from their high. Sports, football. Can you imagine when they're going to play fake, you know, football, they head to head, right? Right at the line of screen. Ready, one, two, three, four. Hut, hut, hut. When one of these players decides to get COVID, Don't you know they're gonna cancel the whole league again? And then, once that happens, it's it's gonna be uh, the, the 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 air is gonna come out the balloon. We gotta realize at that time, this it's just impossible to come back. There's gonna be no school next fall. Um, it, it's it really we just have to really wait until this uh, vaccine comes. That's really the only way. I'm just thinking about this. This is the only way. drive through restaurants are not going to do it. drive through restaurants is not going to do it, okay? So, um, this half-ass pulling, pulling 
half the seats out of an airplane is not the same that it was before. Uh, places like Dave and Buster's. Dave and Buster's uh, main event, if y'all heard of it. These places that have a lot of kids running all over the place, how are they going to be able to open? These places struggled when it was full. So now you're going to have a few kids. It's just, it's really impossible. And the only way that's possible is if we have a cure with the virus. So I'm going to make this video short because I can't even concentrate because I'm trying to keep this mixing without you knowing the song. <laughs> so um, you get my point. You see what I'm trying to say is, is that this half-ass bring the economy half-ass is not the fix. It's not what's going to make things. And you know the numbers are going to go up. So, But it's going to come up in an ugly fashion. All right, so we got to... Just be careful, all right? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I know stocks are up right now, but I'm not feeling it. So um, I'm still trying to trade just by looking at the charts, but me bringing back just to see what's going on, I just don't think it's going to happen. I just don't think it's going to happen where we're going to get back to a normal type place. So that's it, man. It, it, it's really the inevitable. We got the election coming up. It's a big uncertainty. I don't know who's going to win. But I'll tell you this, you know, I just don't, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to turn this into a political conversation. But even though it is kind of a little bit political. Anyway, so thanks for watching, man. I'll be back with the stocks tomorrow. I'm DJing tonight. <laughs> I think I'll just show y'all another aspect of what I be doing. <laughs> okay? So, um, um, yeah. Um, that's it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> and maybe if I can find a way to get on here and, and mix without getting copyright strikes. Then I'll come on here and do that. So anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. And I will see y'all. another time. This is Dre. Peace.